Hello everyone, uh, just thought I'd do a quick video guide for people who are new to the game and may want some pointers on things they can do to make their experience better, potentially make their performance better on their machine, um, and hopefully get on and enjoy some SOTF2 games with the rest of the community. So first of all, when you load the game up, if you followed the how to uh, add the servers video that I've done, the next thing you want to do is come in and go to options. Um, and from within here, you're going to want to basically put everything on low. I run a few things on high or epic, um, but essentially you want to switch off as much as possible um, and put as many things on low as possible, with the exception perhaps of view distance and textures. Uh, the one thing you're going to also want to do is probably just nudge your resolution scale down just a little bit. Um, gives you a bit of a better performance. Make sure you turn off your ground clutter density and distance because most players play with these off which means if you're hiding in what you think is ground clutter they won't uh, they won't be troubled by that they'll be able to just see you laying there um, don't forget to also go into your advanced settings uh, you can turn off various things in here to make your experience more enjoyable um, one of which give default survivor items if you've got lots of skins you'll want to turn that off uh, you'll also want to turn on disable menu transitions and no tooltip delay and things like that. Basically this is the settings I run with, have a look at them, put on what you want to put on and uh, take off what you want to take off, but generally best to run with as little performance impacting switched on as possible because this is a high pace PvP game. Next thing, go to your join arc and find the server that's filling up that is not in match. If it's in match you cannot join and play on that you can only join and see a black screen. So the next thing you want to do is find a server that's filling that's not in match and click join. Okay, so once we've chosen a server to join, we're going to join on FFA server 1 fast auto start. Join in, let the game load into lobby, and you're going to be presented with the create a character screen before you join into bubble wait for the match to start. Give this a second. Okay, so once we're in, you're going to choose your character design. Now, the recommended thing to do is to go for a small female character with all of the sliders essentially just set to the left-hand side. This is going to help because it's going to reduce the size of your character's hitbox. Well, you'll find most people go for um, pretty much similar characters very few variations unless having a bit of fun and if you're not too fussed about tryharding then you don't have to bother with that either but uh, this is the best one to go for now at the moment you can't save a preset within SOTF2 but you can load a preset so the first so what you might want to do is go across to another server save a preset with a character however you want them and then you can load them in and then just name your character and create survivor and you join into the lobby. So this lobby we're now going to wait in until, as you can see at the top right, tribes to auto start 8. That will start the timer when 8 people tribe up. Currently 7 players in the lobby, 8 players in the lobby. You can choose a tribe name in here. And then just to create a tribe. And as you can see at the top now, 8 tribes have been created that's the flag on the left and the timer has started a six minute lobby timer so we just have to wait for that to tick down now in the meantime more people are going to be joining as you can see nine people in the lobby now nine tribes and this will keep filling um, until it reaches capacity or until that timer finishes um, even if it reaches capacity you do still have to wait for the timer and reach zero before the game will stop.